City 1025, the alternative station. Joe Jude in the morning show at 747 now. Time for now loading. Our weekly look at the big video game releases, all brought to you by Comic Town, your source for comic books and more. And Jeremy from Gaming Nexus in with us this morning. How are you doing, Jeremy? Doing pretty good, Joe. I know we got a few games today. Let's jump in. Yes, another big busy week. Um, first off, Capcom is releasing a new version of their fantastic RPG, um, Dragon's Dogma. Okay. Now, this isn't a full-fledged sequel. This is more kind of like an expansion to it. But for some strange reason, they're not religion, releasing it as like a digital add-on. You got to buy the game over. So again. is it like a, like a, like a new story or like what's, it's what's... a new? It, it's the base game. Yeah. Plus a bunch of new content. Okay. So you know, no going into it that it's you're not going to see any drastically new features. Right. Any big advancements. Yeah. It's going to be the original game with some new stuff that plays on everything that made the first one great. I love okay. the first game. Yeah. It's kind of an open-ended open world. Just kind of a fun thing for game. fans then. Yep, good medieval game, and this is just a lot more of the same. Okay. But it's released at a, di- a discounted price, thirty nine ninety nine compared to most, which are 60 And uh, like I said, you get the base game plus all the new content, and that's for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Okay, what's next? Um, also, and this was a big surprise release this week, is Poker Night 2. This is a... Uh, Obviously, a poker game. It's a poker game. But what this is, is a company called Telltale Games. They usually do kind of point-and-click adventure story-based games. They yeah. did the very popular Walking Dead series. They've taken characters from a bunch of different series and pretty much threw them all in a room doing poker one night. Okay. So it's all your favorite characters from Borderlands, Portal, Sam and Max, a lot of niche and classic PC games playing poker with one another. Yeah. So very comedy-based, but also they aim to for a good... True to life poker experience. You can do Texas Hold'em or Omaha Hold'em, and uh, the dealer is Glados from the Portal series, which yeah. fans will know is just loves nothing more than to sit there and make fun of you the entire time. Yeah. So, but nobody knew that was coming out this week. Then Tuesday night, they said, "Guess what? It's launching tomorrow." So nice. That's, that's available right now for the Xbox 360. Tomorrow for the PC, and next week for PlayStation Network. It's so weird when they when they're able to. It's, like, it's rare when, when they they can surprise you like that. It's very rare. Anymore, you hear about games, you know, eight, ten months ahead oh, of right. time. But I remember when I was little, it was, you never knew what you'd see when you go into a store. Oh, my God, look, there's a new yeah. X-Men game. I didn't even know this was coming out. Right. I miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that, that again. One that is Poker Night 2 yeah. for uh, Steam, PC, uh, PlayStation Network, and Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, and you have one more? Yep, the big release this week is Dead Island Riptide. Um, this is an open world RPG set in the zombie apocalypse. This is the sequel to the original, which came out back in early 2011. Mixed reviews on the game. It's one of those that uh, critically, a lot of people criticized it, but the people who played it really love it. Yeah. It's a really big cult following. But this is a direct sequel. Picks up right where the last one left off. Um, you're back on a beautiful island that's being torn apart by zombies and you gotta pretty much make your own you gotta scavenge for supplies and find your own stuff you can find friends and meet up online and up to I believe four people can play together we said a lot of people are looking forward to it is it is it good I liked it I enjoyed the first one yeah. um, this you sounded getting, hesitant actually. well it, it's one of those that critically not I mean, critics, you, critics you don't like it, it fans don't like it, it. Yeah. technical aspects it's got some problems but yeah. it's a lot of fun yeah. it's got a huge cult following um, I enjoyed it. Our reviewer loved it. Gave it an eight out of ten. Yeah. Um, for you know all those same reasons. It's fun. It's original. It's not fast paced like these other zombie games. Yeah. And it's just kind of a different experience. It's about really surviving. It's kind in this of a world. casual zombie game. Yeah. Real laid back. Cut off some heads and arms of zombies. All right. What is that again? That is Dead Island Riptide. Okay. Out for that is for PC, PlayStation Three, and Xbox Three Sixty. Cool. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. People want more info on the games? GamingNexus.com. Thanks, sir. CD 1025. New music.